Hi guys, welcome to Irene Tarot Cat. I'm Ren or Irene. So this week's been another pretty busy week. I had um, a few catch-ups, caught up with a friend I haven't seen in about six months, which was awesome. I had some much overdue laughs with her. Um, some friend get-togethers, lunches, dinners. Obviously Valentine's Day was this week. I hope everyone had a lovely Valentine's Day. Jay spoiled me with some long stem red roses and took me out to a really nice meal. We're all dolled up for Valentine's Day. But I didn't want to film during the night being Valentine's Day and a romantic night, so it's not a night for vlogging, I believe. Um, so last week I was saying that I wanted to do quite a dark um, landscape this week. It wasn't going to be this, but it just so happened that a lovely teacher friend of mine, Stacy, commissioned me to paint this piece because she loves moonscapes and she likes my trees. So that allowed me to do a dark piece regardless of the size this week. So I think um, instead of doing the one that I had in mind, I'm going to put that on the back burner and work on something different next week but yeah you'll see the process of completing this painting throughout this video. The weather has well and truly heated back up it's about 38 degrees celsius today we've had a pretty hot day um, week this week um, so yeah a few cocktails and, and keeping out of the heat as much as possible even though we did have a few outings in the heat but um, yeah, at least we're not using the heater in the middle of summer, which is good. But uh, with that, I guess we should start on the process of this painting. So the same day that I started the painting, I headed down to a local beach of ours, which is just a few minutes away. Um, I'm really itching for a hike. In all honesty, I'd love to go on another big hike, but at the moment, Jay is spending basically all his spare time at the house that we have for sale, just fixing up some things, which is awesome of him. And there's not a lot I can do once we get to the painting stage, I can help with that. But as far as, yeah gutters and and various things i have no idea so he's doing all that which is awesome hopefully you know the sooner it's done the sooner we can sell it and then buy a place together which would be awesome um to be out of this old rental but yeah so no hike but um headed down to the beach did some sketching spent some time walking around and getting some inspiration photos some cloud photos, some tree photos, some things like that. Thank <laughs> you. 
And then that night, I just wanted to throw something really quick and easy together. And Jazz absolutely loves pasta, so it was going to be a pasta night either way. So I threw together some chicken cacciatore. Now, Italians don't hate me. It's a very loose interpretation of chicken cacciatore. It's not the exact version. I put bacon and chicken in mine and um, I even put sugar in my sauce, which I know a lot of Italians are very opposed to. Only a little bit, just to take the acidity away. But yeah, so I thought I'd film a little bit of that footage of just the pasta you can like throw together super quickly. It's like 20 minutes and yeah, super simple. Okay. Chop one large or two medium onions. Saute gently while you prepare the other ingredients. Chop two rashes of bacon and two cloves of garlic and put them in with the onions. Saute that on medium while you dice your chicken up for about five serves five to six serves i do two chicken breasts and a whole packet of spirals is that what you're going to do last polish the floors yeah, that's the last step. it's hard doing that though isn't it Then I did some mid-ground work on this little piece. So Jazz and I used to have lunch dates out pretty much every week. Um, one of our favorite places to go is a ramen bar and it's really close to where she works. And I used to take her there on her lunch breaks at times, but at the moment she's back at school studying early childhood development because she wants to become a teacher. So this is a pathway to uni or college. So she's doing that at the moment on the weekdays where normally we would go out every now and then but this week we managed to squeeze a lunch date in there and had to go revisit our favorite ramen bar which just has the best ramen we absolutely love it there to taxi up bet. but i don't by the time i have the soup and some berries out i don't want to taxi as well <laughs> oh, yeah, this is home. You only have without you like. Damn you. No, that's different. <coughs> that's different. I'm in hospital eating shitty food and he's making tataki every day. And anyway, I didn't even complain. I just said, oh, you're eating tataki every day without me.
Sisters, A Black Cat, Regina, The Three, um, her name's Pimba, because mom really liked the name Simba, and then she switched it to a K, because she was so original, I did. not realising that that was the cartoon, and then the yeah. team like, oh yeah, Pimba the White Lion, I'm like, yeah, she didn't know that that was a thing, yeah. and that's what she's referred to as all the time now. Um, and then my cat's in it. Yeah. So she's like, oh, like, Cinder and Kimber should be friends. I'm like, it's yeah. not really not up. friendly. Like, oh, <laughs> Did you hear her last time? No. So much. No, I feel like you really were like this. I know it's not like crying. I'm just so worried about her. Really? Oh, yeah. I had to close the door just to get into the stuff. Oh, here we go. Thanks. Hey. Thank you so much. Could we also grab a fork for Jasmine's? Yeah, I'm fine with the chopstick. Thank you. You don't need to look the guy in my name. I'm just, just saying your name when I speak about you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, this is just beautiful. Oh, yeah, it's nice and spicy. It's not, it doesn't have as much chili as sometimes. So yeah, I'm super proud of her doing schooling at the moment, but um, I still love to have our lunch dates out together. I um, Yeah, I love all my time that I get to spend with Jasmine. She's just a joy. And that day was a pretty hot day. So when we got back, we thought we'd make some cocktails. Jay got back from the house. We thought we'd have a little sit in my favorite corner of the garden under my favorite tree. I just love that spot. It's nice, shady, cool in the summer because it was a quite hot day. And um, yeah, had some cocktails, a relax, food magazine, some drinks, nice chat, heaven. Yeah, she will. She'll want to come out. Did you play now? Yep. Oh. Such a nice day. Must have been hot. Were you outside in the afternoon? Or did you do all the indoor stuff in the afternoon? I'll come to the place. I'll mark out all the down Look at where the stone would be. Where Look how it's textured. No. Peaches. Peaches. I've got nectarines in there. <laughs> Since that's what you thought they were. <laughs> Salads. Yeah, oh, here we yeah. go. I asked you to come out. You looked at me and looked away. Sorry, I'll let it out. I'll come and let you out. She just wouldn't leave the back door. She was guarding it. And then Cindy ran close to her. Hello. Come on. Come on. And then she's just hissing at Cindy. And she was so riled up. Then I did some more work on the mid-ground of the painting.
Okay, yep. Liver function is slightly better. Okay. okay. So one of them, which was 77, now 51. The other one, 41, is 35. The ART is still the same, 44, 45. Okay. But the other two are better. Okay. Okay. Oh, good. So, no need to do any changes. Yep. And the carrots are okay. So, I think you are now on the right track. Oh, good. Okay. So, just keep doing everything as I'm doing it, basically. Yeah. And even the magnesium now is better. It was 0.57, now 0.63. So, it is improving. Oh, good. Okay. I'll keep taking it exactly the same, though. I won't change anything with that. So after the morning of painting that day, I had a lunch meetup that I went to. Hello, hello. 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 And then I picked up Jasmine and we headed to a couple art shops. I needed to get some more canvases and some paints, a couple brushes because I can't resist when it comes to brushes. Say hi. <laughs> Mm -hmm. All right, that's nothing here. Next. Next. On to the next. So the next question is how to Tetris all those new ones in amongst all those which are packed behind each other and on top of each other and all over the place. So we'll work it out. And then finally this morning I put the finishing touches and the foreground into the painting.
So next week I'm starting a quite a large scale piece, which I plan to spend a little bit over a week on. It probably take me about two weeks because some of the layers I want to dry quite a bit before I add more paint and more layers. But um, in the meantime, I might end up uploading something a little bit different still to do with painting. Um, and then I'll upload the vlog once I finish the painting as I usually do when I finish a painting. Thank you very much for joining me this week. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you'll join me again next time. Thank you, take care and bye guys.